we evolved from lower life forms. And he used to teach secularism. Where are they today? Where is their empire today? Where is their tanks today? Where is their great orators today? Where are their statues today? You have seen them crumble. Why have they crumbled? Because their message deep down is not a message with, which resonates with human beings. Because a message that resonates with human beings, it can never die. A message which deep down resonates with human beings is a message which will never die and it will continue to flourish. And this book, this is not a book of terrorism. This is not a book of beheading. This is not a book of killing. This is a letter, a letter from the Lord of the world to you. And this letter, it contains in it information that will give you peace of heart, which will give peace to your soul, which will give you bliss in the hereafter. And it will make you understand that there is no good, there is no evil. Nothing happens to you in your life, except it happens by the permission of the Creator. And for you to understand, as God says in the Quran, that he did not create creation except to worship him alone. And the creator is nothing like the creation. The creator is one. The creator is unseen. The creator is eternal. The creator is nothing like a human being or nothing like that what we can imagine. Regardless of what atheists tell you, regardless of all those people who try and say, we believe in science, so we don't believe in God. Regardless of what they say, this is the truth. And how do you know it's the truth? Look at your own life. Look at the way that you live. Look at the last 24 hours of your life. Were the last 24 hours of your life purely for survival and reproduction? Was the last 24 hours of your life purely to make more children and survive? Of course not. You have higher goals, you have higher ambitions, you believe in civilization, you believe in morality, you believe in ethics, you believe in rule of law, you believe in all these, these things. But with atheism, with agnosticism, with these disbelieving systems, you cannot have any of those. So there is no such thing. And let me repeat this as a challenge to anyone that's here that is an atheist. There is no such thing as an atheist humanist. I'm an atheist. There is no such thing as an atheist humanist. Do you believe, do you, believe you can be good without God? Yes, of course. How can you be good without God? Yes, you can. How? Because we can all respect each other. So what's that based on? Just the way you're brought up, you know, it's good to respect and love Just the way you're brought up? Yes. Why if you were brought up in Nazi Germany, would you go around killing Jews? No, 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 hang on a minute. I, I, I was not even thought of all those many years ago. So we don't have to be religious to have a good life. You don't have to be religious to respect there each is other. No God without, there is no good without God. So you think I'm a bad person? No, I'm saying something different. There is no right, there is no wrong. Good and bad is an illusion of the genes if there's no God. No, 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 I mean that's nonsense. Look, I do not, I mean, how do you know there's a God exists? How do you know? Before we get to that, I am making a claim. And I want You're you to let me know God. whether that claim is incorrect. There is no such thing as an atheist humanist. Because from an atheist perspective, all you can say about right and wrong is it's an illusion to help you survive. That's the best answer you guys no, have. No, no. If you're brought up well by your mother and father, you speak louder, so if you're well brought up by your mother and father, they will teach you what is right and what is wrong. That's got nothing to do with religion. Sure, sir. Let me take your criteria. Your criteria is it depends on what your mother and father taught you. Well, they, 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 they bring you up. Sure. And then you learn from there. Sure. Why if you have a mother and a father that teaches you running over small children with lawn mowers is okay? Why would my mother and father teach you that? What, I, what I'm trying to get to, sir, is this. If you say right and wrong is based on social conditioning, that if the social conditioning is different, then something bad will become good. No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. We're all from different places in this world, we're all from different backgrounds, we're all from different religions, we're all from different, different you know, social statuses, and your, the people around you, your family and your friends, they teach you what is right and what is wrong, and then, you, you know, and then we all know, I mean, you know, killing is wrong, 
don't, but we know that is wrong. Based on what? From an atheist perspective, based on what? I mean, it, why, pain, why inflict pain on others? Why inflict pain on people? I agree, but I'm saying is, as an atheist, how can you justify that? Because I'm told that it's not good to sure, have Sure, why if you're told something different? <laughs> why would you be told? I mean, everybody, everybody knows killing is wrong, yes? Okay, so let me ask you a question. You exist today in 2018. Yes. If you existed a hundred years ago, would your morals have been different? Well, I can't speak for a hundred years ago. I mean, life was different then, wasn't it? Right. Five hundred okay. years ago, were morals in Europe different? Over time, everything has changed. Sure. So but morals five hundred years ago are different to but, today? You know, but here in this country, in the United Kingdom, we all know what is right and what is wrong. We, well, hopefully we do. And we try, we should try and live with each other and respect each other's different views on life. Sir, I don't disagree with you with your ethic. I'm asking you to justify it. There's a difference. I can say, for example, I can say as an atheist, I believe in reason, right? Yes. But as an atheist, you cannot trust your reason. There's a difference. So, how so I'm not saying, right I'm not saying you, you as a person, I'm disagreeing with your ethic. What I'm saying to you is this, sir. Okay. I'm saying to you, how can you justify good or right or wrong or morality or civilization using atheism? You can't. Yes, you can. Because it's what your family teaches you. So, so your, if your family, your views on life sir, give me something different. which is you believe objectively right. Well, we should respect our neighbours. You should respect your neighbours. Okay. Do people in the world teach something different to that? Well, not in my world. Right, okay. But the, in your world, forget it. Let's look at, say, Sub Saharan Africa. Is I don't there know possible much about that. Sub Saharan Africa. But okay, but sir, is it possible that somebody teaches you not to be good to your neighbor? Yeah, that, that is possible. Right, but that's got nothing, so that's, but that's, if you hold the belief as an atheist, being good to your neighbor is good, and somebody else believes being bad to your neighbor is good, how do you decide between the two worldviews? You have to make your own sensible decision. You sure. don't need to be guided. But what criteria is that based on? Common sense. Right. Now, common sense is what the Nazis were using, using their own master race theory. They believed they were the master race. And they, they believed they had to wipe out the subhuman races. They were applying social Darwinism. They were using their common sense. They were the most advanced civilization on Earth at the time. They invented V2 rockets. They invented jet engines, nuclear technology. They're ahead of the rest, most of the world. So, but being intelligent, having, using common sense, can lead you down a rabbit hole. When the human human being is, if, it, if there's any bad in the world, it's the human being generally. It's not the animal kingdom killing people. It's not the animal kingdom other than eating. That's not true. Kids. No, 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 that's no, not true. The animal kingdom. Oh, if, if you're a lion in the jungle, you kill to have your dinner. Yes, but there are many people. Human, a human does often do bad things to its neighbours. Sir, so, let me no give you reason. let me give you an example of the animal world. Do you know that sharks, before they're born, they kill their siblings in the womb? Well, I didn't know that. Right, but tell me, is that murder? But we are killing off the, human, the, the, the animal. No, no, sir, I'm asking a question. When a shark, a baby shark, well, why would a baby shark when the, do that? before it's born, when it kills its sibling, is it is committing it murder? Is it weak? Is it done because it's weak? Is it done because it's weak? Sorry? Is it done because it's weak? That's an irrelevant question. My question okay. is, is okay. it murder? Are you, I don't know the circumstances, but let's ask That's the this. point, sir. That's okay. the point. From but an atheist perspective, more. you don't have so an answer. Me. I'm bad and you're good, yes? No, sir, I am not saying I'm good and you're bad. I'm saying something different. I'm saying good and bad and right and wrong and civilization and morality and rule of law makes no sense under atheism. Well, it I'm makes sense to me. But you I'm, haven't justified it. You've made statements, no, but you haven't justified it. I was brought into this world, I wasn't introduced to any religion at all, and I believe I lead a good life. So sure, I don't need sir, to that's social that. conditioning. That's social conditioning. Okay, but religion is social conditioning. Sir, religion even if religion was purely social conditioning, social conditioning, it doesn't mean atheism has an answer to right and wrong. 
no, no. There's not. There's not necessarily an answer in religion or atheism. There is. No. God is the answer no. to morality. No, no, that's your opinion. From an atheist point of view, no, no. there's no right or wrong. No, no. But that's that's rubbish. Absolute oh, rubbish. How do Why you do you know think that God exists? It doesn't mean you don't have a morality because you're an atheist. Not at all. Not at all. I'm How saying something different. Not at all. Okay. Do you believe in? Do you believe in right or wrong? Do you I, don't, uh, I, I don't know. I believe in relative right and relative wrong. What is wrong for one uh, social group is right for another. That's true. Perfect. That's atheism for you. No, it's not atheism. Okay, let's it's, that's the only no, answer that's atheism leads to. Atheism. If you do certain, some certain things in some countries, it's taboo. Finish. You can't mention, for example, uh, you can't name your son after a living person. They have to be dead. It's taboo. You broke the bag. Here, who cares? Right. So, sir, so, so, no, sure. so, so when you, you're sure, but sure, I'm, I'm asking you something, right? So, say you have a society which says naming our children a living person is bad. Another society said it's good. As an atheist, how would you decide between the two? God, okay. Exactly. It's not your I agree with you totally. It's not your job to. I agree with you totally. And that's but what that's. Is it religion no, 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 no. Sir, I'm not talking about religion, I'm talking about God here. What's got God to do with it? It's like saying God is a leaf or God, God controls my breakfast cereal. It's got nothing to do with it. It does, sir. It does. So let me, let me let me explain how it does. God is the objective, is the one who gives us an objective criteria no, for right and wrong. And from an atheist, from an atheist perspective, sir, let me just say this point and you can challenge me if you want. The concept that we are taught today of in society today, Western society, this world today. There isn't a particular Okay, the way we are brought up here in London. I'm the world differently from you, I can tell you that for a start. No problem. So let me give you my view. Ah, your view. My view, right? And let's see if you guys want to challenge it. We are taught, I am taught, I was taught, there is such a thing as evolutionary humanism. You can be you can you can be a human being who believes in right and wrong and good things and be an atheist. And what I'm saying is that's total garbage. I'll tell you why. Right and wrong is like color perception. That leaf is not green. Green is the color that bounces back at me. So a dog, exactly, a dog will see that maybe it's gray or something else. So morality is nothing but an illusion of the genes to help you survive. No, 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 no. Morality depends on the society in which you're And also your individuality. I agree. So I'm not saying anything different to that. So where are we disagreeing? But you're saying that we're wrong. You're, you're saying that yes, I am, yeah. there is an absolute so right. There is no absolute right. Why am I wrong? You're wrong in thinking that athe an atheist can be a humanist. Why? It can be a good Why? person. Okay. Why? Because, Why? because, can believe in good, sorry. So because from an atheistic perspective, right and wrong, good and bad, rule of law, morality, it's ethics, civilization, is an illusion. Because you aren't what you, what you don't I understand am, is you're talking rubbish. Yeah. Atheism Absolute rubbish. has got nothing to do with morality. No, no, has got nothing, nothing to do to with do chemistry. With no. It has got nothing to do with evolution. No, because it always is an answer to one specific Do you question. Believe God? No. It's like saying, for instance, what can biology teach us about astrophysics? Nothing, because it's not. It, they're completely different questions. Atheism is whether there's God or not, right? Do I believe That's in true. marmites? Sure. Yeah. No. Sure. It, it's got nothing. So, so it is. It is beyond the purview of exactly. atheism. To, to have a view on anything. It does not, you, because I'm an atheist, it doesn't give me a view on a tree. That would be humanist or evolutionary or whatever. That oh, would not be, that would be, have nothing to do with atheism. Nothing. That okay. tree would still be every single thing in my life. So you is not involved whether there is God or not. It's got nothing to do with my atheism. If, if, if so, 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 so it, it, does, it doesn't make any strictures one so way or another. I, I heard you the first you time. You can be a nice atheist, so, you can be a bad atheist. Yeah. Do you believe that belief have implications? Yes. Okay. So, I'm just asking you a pure yeah. question here. Yeah. The consensus 
amongst evolutionary psychologists. You don't know them all. You don't know them all. I haven't said anything yet. You don't know. You can't speak for a group of people you don't know. No, what are you calling Okay, sure. But if I'm... Some evolutionists... No, 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 I'm going to say a consensus. I'd say there's no such thing as evolutionary psychologists. But anyway... Okay, I agree with you there because of other reasons. But evolutionary psychology as a general... What is evolutionary psychology? It doesn't exist. Okay, look, what it does is this. It looks at the evolution of our psychology, of our morals, of our belief systems. Well, they do that. It's a field. Yes, but that's science. That would just be the history and philosophy of psychology. That would not. That would not be the evolution. Because you add in the evolutionary thing, that is adding an extra concept where you can chuck in religion, and you can chuck in views, and you can chuck in everything else. Basically, you are you are talking the history of psychology. You are not talking the... Okay, it does evolve in a certain way, but what you're using, you're using the word evolution as I'm trying to sort of, in a strange way, to go, oh, well, if we've got evolution in the whole bit business, then it's got to be anti-God or whatever. So no, no, no. Is, you're, you're talking, the history, I was, that's all. If you just said the history of psychology, or the history of morality, or the history of whatever, fine. But if you go the evolution, you're then, you're then putting in this extra thing that doesn't exist in evolution, which is the fact that evolution is working, this, this idea that evolution is working towards a point or a goal, which it isn't. I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I just think that the wording, you're trying to observate. No, but and, and that, first, that's firstly, let, let me break down each step, because I don't want to, maybe if I say two, three things, you'll challenge each one. Firstly, there is such a field as evolution psychology. Yeah, but I don't know what it means. What yes. yeah. Sorry? He doesn't know what the, it means. The field exists, yes or no? I doubt it. Tell I mean, us. Okay. Okay, yeah. it does. You can, you can look it up. What does it mean? Okay. What does it mean? Okay. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Okay. What does it mean? I hope you don't hate me with this thing. Um, what it basically means is this. It means when psychologists are trying to look at the evolution of our brain and the way that we look and the way that we actually behave and why we actually behave in this particular way. And the most predominant view in evolutionary psychology is the view of the selfish gene, the famous Richard Dawkins view, which is that it's we exist at and all of our actions fundamentally is about survival of our genes. Or a maladaptation of them. Not in the organism of the genes, right? So, so, for example, something like rape would be explained by evolutionary psychologists as a survival mechanism for evolutionary losers. No, 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 no. That's the feeling I'm speaking. You can't equate what people do like the average person with what is really going on. Psychology, if you put it to me, you get it is, it is an absurd Yes, thing. but we're beyond the biology. Of, uh, the biology is so complex in the brain. I mean, people they have been trying this. And I mean, Still not understand. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those slightly sort of dodgy bits of science where Very there's nothing dodgy. proved on either, on either side. Because, you know, you're, you're basically saying because... <laughs> Men are big, big and hairy. We have dominance over women, or whatever, you know, because we're we're the more powerful ones. That's now slightly out the window. I mean, since women have been able to get guns, you know, they they're, they're more their ability to be more equal. Well, here they are sort of more in, in, this country, in this country. They are, they are legally equal. No, because I'm actually speaking. Top of the I, I agree you know. with you totally. So you it's, can't it's, dodge, it's a very no, dodgy. No, no sir, I agree with you totally. Yeah. You can't get a value from fact, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't get a value from a fact. So what I mean is, just because the supposed theory says that we evolved in this way, doesn't ma doesn't make us right or wrong. It's hypothesis, not theory. We agree there. Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. right. But what I'm actually speaking about is something slightly different. I'm not speaking about can we get values from facts. What I'm speaking about is this. According to evolutionary psychologists, right and wrong is an illusion to help you survive. That's all it is. Well, it's for everybody. So it was. No, that is the view. No, the, the, the yeah, well, well, they're wrong. I mean, you know, I mean, I agree. 
agree they're wrong. I agree. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm saying is, from the way that we are taught today, the idea of evolutionary humanism. Who's we? Nobody's taught evolutionary humanism. Who's we? Nobody's taught humanism. Okay, are we not taught humanism? No, no, no. Humanism, but that's not this evolutionary thing. But, but, but the thing is, look, we're going, we've got it wrong. We started off with a whole bunch of other religions who had an idea on it. Nobody could get anything correct. That's so, true. Yeah, okay. Well, that's your point of view. But if you have the, you say, you've got a Christian perspective, you've got a sort of um, Hawaiian sort of perspective, you've got all these other perspectives, you're in there. The actual, how we got here is not important. It's what we do now. This is why this sort of modern sort of humanism sure. started. With the idea of going, forget where you come from. Let's just work out a bunch of rules that will suit everybody so you don't know the rule before you start. So your game, the game of life, is started where you have a have a rule. You don't know which cards you're going to pick up. You don't know whether you're going to be disabled. You don't know whether you're going to be poor. You don't know whether you're going to be rich. You don't know whether you're going to be gay. So you make the rules. You don't know whether you're going to be a pedophile. You, so you have a, a bunch of cards. And everyone's got to agree before the beginning of the day. Yeah, before the beginning of the day. Where are you? Should we make a rule against somebody being a pedophile? And the answer is yes. Or at least the actions of the pedophile, rather. Not, they can't be doing the in your head. And you don't know if somebody's going to be gay or not.